Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at what I got up on my shelves. You always see them behind me. I've never really uh, done a video where I've shown the collection off. Um, it goes all the way down to the floor, up to the ceiling. Got another shelf over there. And a spillover shelf over here. Uh, not super happy with all the shelves I have. I really do like this one that I put up not too long ago. I'm um, just going to take you through it, show you how I organize everything. And if you see anything you like, give me a shout out, let me know. Show me some pictures of your collections in the comments down below. Right, this is my main shelf. Ten rows. About 12 foot long. First case up at the top, beginning with Scream Factory box sets. All the Universal Horror, Paul Nashy, Omen the Fly. Severin box sets. Some TV shows down below. Alfred Hitchcock and the Coen Brothers. Of course, gotta have the classic Universal Monsters 30 film set. Movie collections. Friday the 13th. Of course, I ordered the uh, new one coming from Scream Factory. It looked too good to pass up. Down below the box sets, we begin with the DVDs, which are grouped by label. So we've got the uh, Shriek Show stuff for Media Blasters. A couple of these I've upgraded to Blu-ray, but I just haven't traded in the, the doubles yet. Stuff from Dark Sky Films. We kind of wish we'd release more of the older stuff like they were. You know, they used to put out stuff like Simon King of the Witch, Horror Hospital... She Beast, you know, they're still putting out good new indie stuff, but I do kind of wish they would uh, bring back some of the classic stuff. And below that, Scorpion releasing the Roger Corman cult classic collections from Shout Factory, Inner Vision, Picture Corp, and Severin after that. So like I said, these are all the DVDs that I have grouped by label. So once I get enough, if I get five or more releases, I'll start grouping them by label. Code Red. IFC Midnight titles. Criterions that I haven't upgraded yet. Stuff from Cult Epics, Blue Underground. Umbrella Entertainment. And then down below that we've got... Stuff from Troma, we've got the Dimension Extreme Collection, stuff from Wild Eye, Magnet Releasing, and then Anchor Bay. Back when Anchor Bay used to put out some really great editions, and you know, they got bought by Stars and went to shit after that. Then we got stuff from VCI Entertainment. And then down the bottom shelf, we've got the dirty films from Impulse Pictures, the Nakatsu Roman Porno Collections, the Schoolgirl Report Collections. And you've got some stuff from 1-7 Films, as well as Warner Archive and My Entertainment. Up on the second cabinet... We've got four rows of Scream Factory, who have been prolific. But uh, up on top, most of the collector's editions with slips. And releases without slips. These aren't alphabetized, they're just all grouped as Scream Factory. Not alphabetized, sometimes I'll organize them by color of spine. Double features. I wish they'd put out more double features. They were on quite a run with their double feature releases for a while. A couple of the Roger Corman titles I upgraded. And then we've got some Shout Select titles. Now, I don't really collect everything by any one label. It just has to be something I want. So there's lots of gaps in these Shout Select titles. And then on to the Code Reds. Got a random man with the x-ray eyes from Second Sight Films just to cover up the thermostat. But uh, that's a gorgeous addition. Lots of code reds. Down below, more code reds. 
including Lucio Fulci's Conquest. Got to upgrade to all the Lucio Fulci's spasms. One Dark Knight. Got a couple of the uh, 88 films releases in here. Slasher Collection. And then their Porky's Revenge. Yeah, more 88 films. And on the Warner Archive. Try to stick with the genre stuff from Warner Archive. Horror, thrillers. And the Vestron video sets. I don't have them all, obviously. But looking to pick up Gothic, Parents, and the Unholy still. I'm not a huge steelbook collector. Most of the ones I do have I have picked up used at the pawn shop. But uh, I got a couple Suspiria, Suspiria Demons, Demons 2. Some upgrades from Shout Factory, The Thing, Night of the Demons, Piranha. All these Arrow Video steelbooks I picked up at pawn shops for cheap. New stuff from Imprint Films. Love their War of the Worlds and I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Uh, Olive Film Signature Collection. Olive Films. About the only thing I'm missing from Olive Films that I want is the sender on Blu-ray. Then the Criterion titles. And then below that, more Criterions, some Arrow video sets, that gorgeous Last House on the Left set, Window Box Editions, Umbrella Entertainment, I got some great stuff on Blu-ray, a lot of it's region free. And then below that we've got lots of Severin titles. One of my favorite labels alongside Synapse Films. Lots of Synapse titles. Below that we've got some Full Moon Entertainment, Kino Lorber, Blue Underground. I haven't got any of their 4K titles yet. Grindhouse Releasing. Unearthed Films. Artsploitation. Cult Epics. MVD and all their various imprints, and the wild world of cinema from Mondo Macabro. So all those again, those are all organized by label, they're not alphabetized. Up on top of the third cabinet, a couple of titles from Twilight Time, it was really sad when they went out of business, Scorpion Films, couple of their slipbox editions. Silent Scream. Fulci's Murder Rock. Yeah, Raro Video. Magnet Releasing. VCI. Dark Sky Films. And then after Dark Sky Films is where we begin with the actual alphabetized Blu-rays. These are going to be Blu-rays that I don't have. You know, they're Warner Brothers. They're not a niche label. Universal. I usually don't group them together. They're alphabetized. Numbered first, 976 Evil, 10, 12 Monkeys, 1941. On to the A's. Here's an underrated Mill Creek release, A Study in Terror. I never did pick up the Severn release of Blood on Satan's Claw because I already had this UK edition, which I'm very happy with. This is a release I really love. The distributed picks, uh, Blu-ray of Sunshine, gorgeous. So again, these are all alphabetized releases. They're not grouped by anything other than alphabet. And it goes all the way down to Z's ending with Zombie Land. So that's my main wall. And then coming over to my second wall, 
This is a pair of cases I built out of a shipping box that oven doors, industrial sized oven doors were shipped into where I used to work. Threw some 2x4s in for reinforcement. Slap some black paint on it. Works out nicely. It's actually really deep. And uh, actually behind all of these movies are CDs. I'm a huge movie fan, but I'm also a huge music fan. And there's going to be CDs jammed in behind all of these, unfortunately. One day I'm going to have more room. But on this shelf, starting up on top, we've got the double and triple feature collections stacked up on this corner. A lot of box sets and TV series up at the top. The Empire Pictures, Blu-ray box, Herschel Gordon Lewis Feast, Gotta Have Your Mel Brooks. A lot of TV collections up on top. Newer stuff like The Flash, Night Flyers, the DC stuff, Ty Titans. Outer Limits, Monsters, Eerie Indiana, Tales from the Crypt, Tales from the Dark Side, Night Gallery, Twilight Zone, Stranger Things, and then more boxes on top of that. The Hammer Collection, that 21 disc set, from Studio Canal, some Mill Creek collections up there. And then the Blu-rays here on the top shelf here. These are going to be your animated and kitty films. A lot of DC. A lot of Marvel. Disney. And below that, we got a shelf of 4Ks. Don't have a ton of 4Ks. But it's getting there. Picked up Kubrick's 2001. Space Odyssey had to have that. Jurassic Park, Matrix, Predator Collections. And then below that we get to the DVDs that are alphabetized. Stuff I haven't upgraded yet. But I'm not ready to get rid of. I still watch DVDs fairly often. Down below that we've got kind of a mess. We've got uh, LPs, 10 inch records. We got some movie posters crammed down there, comic books, CRT discs. And then on to the second cabinet. More alphabetized DVDs. Need to upgrade. I love this film, Elena. From the director of Cinema Paradiso. Yeah, so that's all alphabetized. Then when we get to the end of the alphabetized, I got some Disney's and some kitty friendly animation. Three Stooges collections. And then we get to grouping the DVDs by label. So I got some full moon sets here featuring the Just Franco films. Arrow Video DVDs, Raro Video, More Mondo Macabro, and generic collections of four film favorite sets, those Lions Gates collections, the Masters of Horror sets on DVD. I've got the first season on Blu ray as well. Eight films to die for. I got a couple of those. Vinegar Syndrome collections. After school special collections. I just grouped in some Stephen King's over here. MGM Midnight Movies collections. The ones I haven't upgraded yet to Blu ray. Then we've got concerts and music documentaries Iggy and the Stooges, Black Oak, Arkansas, The Flaming Lips, Kiss. And then below that, the very end, is where I have my comedy stuff. So that's your stand up specials for the most part down there. I'm going to move over to my spillover case. Got uh, IFC Midnights up here on the top. Some random groupings. Uh, Agfa films. Sergio Leone movies. Some Vincent titles. Love the Vinegar Syndrome. 
Mill Creek Entertainment, the VHS Retro Slip Editions, as well as the Andy Sedaris films. And then below that, I've got lots more music. You know, again, deep shelves, more music behind them. These are all the uh, 